Hey guys, I'm here once again with Ryan, going to break down an uh, awesome technique that Nick Diaz did in his fight at Strike Force on the weekend where he arm locked Cyborg. There's actually a lot of details in that move. Very technical um, jujitsu move. Let's check it out. In this position, Diaz got taken down right near the end of the fight uh, and ended up in his guard position. The first thing he did, uh, very important details, he grabbed the head. Okay, in MMA it's different than jujitsu. You can't just arm lock, you can't just sweep the person. First thing you have to do is control the head. So what he did is he took his hand and he grabbed with his right hand behind the, the neck. And what this does is if he pulls his head away, away from my hands, he can really start to damage me here. But when I control his head, he cannot get knockout power when his head is close to me. So Diaz did a great job of holding the neck, and then he started to attack the arm. So from here he went to the wrist, and he worked it onto his chest. But from this position, he did something a little different than just holding the wrist. He put his arm very cool move here over top of the wrist. Now he didn't go on the glove, he just went just below the glove. And that's going to come into play in a minute. So he cut the neck and he hooked his arm, the crook of his elbow, over top of the wrist. Okay, one thing that does, it doesn't make it too obvious here. I'm kind of holding here, it's more, this is really obvious, holding with the hand and jamming it across. He just cupped here and waited. And then from this position he started to go for an arm lock. Now he kind of went up to a position where we like to lock the shoulders here. But he, he went up and he just opened it up and it, it ended up being a little bit loose. Okay, and then from this position, what he did is he put his hand under the leg so that he could spin into arm lock position. So from here, he reached under the leg and that grip under the thigh here gave him the ability to spin without putting his foot on the ground, without putting his foot on the hip. So he started to spin for an arm lock. And when he got to this position here, Cyborg was very calm. I noticed he was waiting for the arm lock. He knew it was coming and he was going to wait to tried to posture out and pull his arm out. So he tried two hammer fists here, and Diaz started to go for the arm just like he thought he would. And Cyborg, when he felt this, he thought he could pull up and posture straight to the ceiling and rip his arm out. Now I think that would have worked really well if it had just been a no-gi match. They were very sweaty by that point, but Diaz had the, the glove smartly hooked with the crook of his, his arm here, the crook of his elbow. So when he passed, Cyborg postured, and then all of a sudden he pulled, and he realized he couldn't get his arm out. So what he did then is he started to come back down and grabbed his bicep, you see here? Then he grabbed the next tricep here and then started to defend this way. So what Nick did here is he had pulled his arm out a little bit earlier when, when um, Cyborg tried to posture. So this hand had shifted to the forearm to give him a little bit more support. Now he readjusted this grip from the wrist to above the elbow, come around this side here. He went over top of the elbow so it was a little bit deeper now. Okay, so he went from up here, he had this, holding the arm in a little tighter, and then he went above the elbow. So again, Ryan's grabbing his bicep, defending the arm lock. Now he started to stack Diaz like this, okay. So what Diaz did is he took this hand. Now that the left hand's controlling the arm, this hand was free to reach under the leg, under the body, and it went on the far side. So Dave coming around this side here. Dave's our cameraman for the day here, make sure we get all the details. This hand goes here, and it went outside of this thigh. Now from this position, he started to spin his head underneath the sideboard like this. And now Ryan's going to continue to defend as I roll to my knees. So I roll to my knees here, boom. Now sometimes, you can finish the arm lock right here. If you would release, I can finish upside down. Kind of like back in the days when Hoist Gracie was arm locking guys in the UFC 1 and 2. Many times they fell and he ended up getting from the front. But from this position here, he, he was defending well, so I can't stay flat and try to finish. So what Diaz did is he fell on the side. Now I like to grab my thigh right here, check this detail here. I grab the thigh right here so it locks in. Now from this position here you see Diaz reach back at one point and thinking he's going to try to break the arm but then he saw that it was very secure so he kind of went here and it was very secure so he didn't uh, try anymore to break the arm from this position. He grabbed the ankle and then he flipped his opponent. So I'm going to give you a key detail for this. If you pull this way onto you, he is extremely heavy. You need to pull this leg over top with a straight arm motion. So it doesn't come over me, the foot that is. The whole leg's going to come over me, but his foot is way out here. So I'm going to flip him here over the top circular and use my right thigh to turn him over into the arm lock position. Okay, come around. So from this position here, what he did is he started to sit up. His hand on the side of his, head, of his opponent's head was through grabbing the thigh, and then he hammer fisted Once to the stomach, second one, it started to hurt, so he blocked, and then he ended up elbowing the thigh at one point, and then Cyborg released his arm for a moment. 
As soon as he did that, Diaz took a, uh, advantage of it. He grabbed the wrist. It's very important that you grab here. If I don't grab here, if I just grab here, he could turn his thumb up and do a, start to spin to his knees and escape it. I think maybe that's what Cyborg was hoping to do there. So as soon as he released, Diaz did an awesome job of holding the wrist. Now what that does is it stops Brian's thumb from turning this way and hitchhiking and escaping this way. So from here, this is low, so this comes with the wrist and I keep his thumb from turning towards his head. He tries to turn his thumb, he can't. And then I extend it, Diaz pulled back, and then this hand came to meet it. Again, I don't let his thumb ever turn this way. Sometimes I'll even put my thumbs around completely so that he can't turn his thumb. And then he pulled down. Now another detail, key detail here if you watch, he put this foot on top of this foot. What does that do? The low foot on top of the high foot. The one by the stomach on top of the one by the head. And Ryan will show you, if they're not locked, watch what Ryan's escape is. Push that out and try to get on top. You see, so he did that very uh, intelligently. He's put that one on top of that one. No escape there. Game over. Okay, so I'm going to show one more time from start to finish. A little bit quicker. I'm still trying to catch all the details because there's a lot involved there. So from here again, he controlled the head. He started to attack the wrist. He hooked it in the crook of the elbow. He started to climb his legs up in the air. Reached under the leg, went for the spin. Cyborg was waiting, two hammer fists, but he's waiting for the arm, but he couldn't pull it out. So when he went to pull it out, Diaz switched to here to the forearm. He grabbed his bicep to defend, tricep hold. So now he readjusts his left hand out and deeper, because he's going to reach the right hand now that was controlling under the legs, and just put the back of the hand on the thigh, spin and roll over your inside shoulder like this to the knees. Now I can't break the grip, so I need to go on my side. So I start putting flipping pressure here. Grab my thigh lock. Try to finish, he couldn't finish here. He grabbed the ankle, he pulled overhead instead of across this way. And he used his thigh to flip him immediately. He got on top. Two, one hammer fist, second one was blocked. Elbow with the thigh, cyborg released. Immediately he grabbed the wrist so he couldn't turn the thumb. Lay back, keep it nice and tight. Foot on top of foot here. And then this slid to the wrist. And that was all she wrote. So as you can see, there was a ton of details. Uh, the fight could have been finished a little bit before then, uh, if Cyborg would have turned a certain way or let his arm extend. But he did a good job of defending, so Diaz had to do a, uh, many little details and did an awesome job of uh, ending that fight. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. hope it helps you out. hope you can pull this move off in your training. Thanks again to Ryan for helping me out. Catch you later, guys.